Have you ever wondered why you have your mom's eyes and your dad's hair? It's all thanks to your genes. Genes are like tiny instruction manuals found inside your cells, telling your body how to grow and develop. They determine your traits, from your hair color to your height and everything in between. But where are these instructions stored and how do they work? The answer lies in a molecule called DNA, which stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. DNA is like a giant library containing all the genetic information that makes you, you. It has a unique shape called a double helix, which looks like a twisted ladder. Imagine a ladder twisted into a spiral. That's DNA. The sides of the ladder are made up of sugar and phosphate molecules. The rungs of the ladder are made up of special chemicals called bases. There are four different bases, adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine. These bases are like the letters of the genetic alphabet. Each base pairs up with only one other base, like puzzle pieces fitting together. Adenine always pairs with thymine, and guanine always pairs with cytosine. These base pairs are held together by weak chemical bonds, which can be easily broken and reformed. These base pairs are organized into units called nucleotides. A nucleotide consists of a sugar molecule, a phosphate molecule, and one of the four bases. Nucleotides are the building blocks of DNA. Think of nucleotides as the letters of the genetic alphabet and DNA as a long, complex sentence written with these letters. But how does DNA tell your body what to do? The answer lies in a process called protein synthesis. Proteins are the workhorses of your cells, carrying out all sorts of important functions. They help build your tissues, transport molecules, and fight off infections. Protein synthesis happens in two main steps transcription and translation. During transcription, the DNA code is copied into a messenger molecule called RNA. RNA is like a messenger that carries the genetic instructions from the DNA in the nucleus to the ribosomes in the cytoplasm. Think of DNA as a master chef's cookbook locked away in the restaurant's office. The chef wants to make a specific dish but can't leave the office. So they use RNA, a messenger, to copy the recipe from the cookbook and bring it to the cooks in the kitchen. The cooks in this case are the ribosomes, which are like tiny protein factories inside your cells. Ribosomes are responsible for reading the RNA message and using it to assemble amino acids into proteins. The RNA message is read in groups of three bases called codons. Each codon codes for a specific amino acid. There are 20 different amino acids which can be combined in countless ways to create a vast array of proteins. Imagine amino acids as Lego blocks, each with its unique shape and size. The ribosome is like a master builder, connecting these Lego blocks in a specific order according to the instructions provided by the RNA. A gene is a specific segment of DNA that codes for a particular protein. Each protein has a specific function in the body, and together they determine your traits. For example, the gene for eye color codes for a protein that produces pigment in your iris, determining whether your eyes are brown, blue, or green. Think of genes as individual recipes in the chef's cookbook. Each recipe contains the instructions for making a specific dish, just like each gene contains the instructions for making a specific protein. Sometimes mistakes can happen when DNA is copied, leading to changes in the genetic code. These changes are called mutations. Mutations can be harmful, beneficial, or have no effect at all, depending on the specific change and its location in the DNA sequence. Imagine a typo in the chef's cookbook. A single letter change in a recipe could result in a slightly different dish or make it completely inedible. Similarly, a mutation in a gene could alter a protein's function or render it useless. In recent years, there have been remarkable advancements in the field of genetics. Scientists have developed powerful tools to read, edit, and even write DNA. These technologies hold immense potential for understanding and treating genetic diseases, developing personalized medicine, and even engineering new life forms. The study of genetics is a rapidly evolving field with endless possibilities. As we continue to unlock the secrets of the genetic code, we can expect groundbreaking discoveries that will revolutionize medicine, agriculture, and our understanding of life itself. The future of genetics is bright, promising a healthier, more sustainable, and awe-inspiring future for all.